The, the camera can get up here. Coach Llewellyn, if you'll sit here, uh, Michaela here, Chitara here, and Ivy over here, okay? And, uh, and Coach, you have, I think you've been here a time or two. Just open up with anything you want to say, and then, we'll, uh, girls, when you ask a question, you might want to sit in the other seat, because this microphone will swivel, but it, uh, but it won't slide. Just be sure to speak into the mic. Coach Brant Llewellyn, Lauderdale County defending state champs in the finals again. Well, thank you, Ron. Um, <laughs> I, you know, I guess to start off, um, it's we're, we're just lucky to uh, to escape with a win on that one. Um, you know, I'm proud of our girls for uh, for continuing to play and and not letting the uh, the adversity of the game get to them the way it went. Um, I, we shot 20% from the field the first half, and, and it just it felt like there was a lid on the the rim there, and I, I don't think we've missed that many layups in, in a 10 game stretch as we did in that first half. But uh, we talked about it a little bit at halftime, and, and you know, sometimes when that happens, when, you, when you're when you missing shots that you normally make, um, you know, you can let it let it get in your head a little bit. It, it leads to you missing, missing more shots that are like that. But uh, fortunately there in the fourth quarter, I think we were finally able to, to make some of those and pull away from them there. Uh, you got to give them some credit. Uh, Co Coach Kinsaw Scott's a friend of mine. He does a good job with them. And uh, number 10 for them is a good player. And they were really going to try to get the ball inside. And I thought we played really good defense and, and kept uh, the ball out of 10's hands, which was huge for us. Because if, if we hadn't done such a good job on defense, the way we played on offense, we would have been in trouble. Question for coach or players? Michaela was big in the first half. I mean, she was the only one really shooting the ball well, I think. She was. Um, you know, and we were talking about getting the ball inside to her. Uh, we, we didn't get inside to her enough. That's the, the bottom line. Because um, there, there was times when she was open and after she had already made a few that we had a chance to get in there to her. And we got, when she's open in there and, and making those shots like she was in the first half, we've got to get the ball inside to her. Um, you know, for whatever reason, it, you can't explain something like what happened out there today. I mean, we, we've got kids who make hundreds of layups in a row in practice and never miss one that could, we just couldn't buy one today. It was just one of those things and we'll uh, get over it and we'll bounce back and, and act like it never happened on Saturday when we get out there. Question for the players? Uh, for any of y'all, you guys are one game away from a perfect regular season and three straight titles. Just talk about that and, and what you have left in front of you one more game. You going first, Michaela, go ahead. Again. You're going your third straight championship in an undefeated season. How's, how, how do you feel about that? I mean, we've worked hard, and I think we deserve it. So we've got to play better the next game, or we might not win it. And we have we have to play really well. And Holly Pond's a good component. Or component. They're not there yet, though. I know. Uh -huh. We're not there yet. <laughs> okay. And one of y'all want to answer that, too? Tell us what you think. Go ahead, Ivy. Uh, we, uh, we've we worked real hard, like Michaela said, and uh, it's going to be hard, but it's going to be probably worth it in the long run. Uh, practice is we've been, it's what we've been kind of talking about, and uh, we just kind of have to play a little better than we did today to finish it out. Shatara, you got something to say about that? Okay. Other questions? Coach, how uh, how important is is getting this win record, you know, for your team to to set the the state mark for wins in a season? We've never talked about that. I that that's what whatever you just said is news to me. I, I don't know anything about any kind of record. We're uh, we're just we've got one game left to finish our season out, and uh, we're focused on that one game. And we once it's over, if we can look back, if there were any records set or whatever, then that's just icing on the cake and that'll be great, but we're, we aren't concerned about breaking anybody's total records or scoring records or anything else. We just want to get a, a win on Saturday and, and all we care about is getting number 11 for Lauderdale County High School. Other questions? Shatara, because I know you want to talk. 
Was was there any letdown today coming off the Madison Academy game last week? Kinda really, but I mean, okay. kinda really. I mean, I don't know. I mean, it was a pretty hard game. Like none, of the, none of my shots was falling or whatever. But got into practice and start practicing harder and start focusing harder than what I did. And tell myself that I have to do this for you know the team and everything because they needed me. And then I tell myself, coming down here, I'm going to have to play better than what I played. Coach, you talked about the the poor shooting in the first half. W what was halftime like? Did you get on them, or did you change anything in the second half? Or, or? Well, uh, honestly, we, we spent a little bit of the first half getting on to them, and then uh, the rest of the half trying to pick them back up. So, <clears throat> you know, at some point, you know, which, you know, these players are used to it. it you, sometimes you get fussed on, and that's just part of it. But so we got after them a little bit right when we got into the locker room. But then after that, you know, it's time to – you, you got to forget about it and put it behind you. And so we told them not to worry about what happened in the first half and not to think about anything as far as the, the shots go in the first half. And, you know, we've, these, these kids have made thousands and thousands of those shots in their life. And, and those shots were no different than any other shots – that they've taken in the past, and for whatever reason, they just rolled out. And we got to get moved past it and know that they're going in on Saturday. Well, Coach, congratulations. Welcome back to the finals. And I'm sure there will be some other one-on-ones on the other side of the curtain. Yes, sir. Uh, Thank you. Welcome back to the championships. Congratulations. Okay, girls, we've got Paige here. We've got JC down here and Coach Kinsall in the middle. Congratulations on a great season. And Coach, you just, if you will, just open up with any comments you want to make and then we'll open up for questions. Coach Scott Kinsall from Strong High School Bulldogs. Uh, well, thank you. First I mean Tigers, excuse me. <laughs> uh, first of all, you, we want to congratulate Lauderdale County on a great, great win. And, they're a good team, and we knew that, and we wish them the best of luck on Saturday. Questions for Coach or players? Coach, they won 37 games this year and lost none. What makes what do you see out there that makes them so tough to beat? Uh, they're so aggressive on their press. It's so hard to simulate that in practice. Uh, and, and they're very good at what they do. They very, they're very good at, at uh, creating angles to get you into traps. And they're very good at once you're in your trap, covering everything up. So it's so hard to, to see what uh, where the open spot is, and uh, you know, in, in in any level of basketball, you got to have great guard play, and uh, they've got two of the best uh, in the state. Talk about how the girls didn't quit there at the end. They no, they're they're not going to quit, and 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 I'm proud of them for for what they've done this year and. <laughs> And, the, and we've always we've said all year that they've got the heart of a champion, and I still believe that. Uh, you know, they, they they wouldn't quit at, no matter what time how they got down, and and I knew they wouldn't quit. And the bench the bench players wouldn't quit. They kept them up, and you know uh, that's something that's not in any of these girls' vocabulary is is quitting. JC, hey, um, just talk about how, did they do anything that frustrated y'all? Did you feel like y'all were missing shots you normally make, or? What was the difference, do you think? Well, a lot of girls are a great team, and we played hard, but some shots just weren't falling like we hoped they would. If any player would want to comment about the season and the great season y'all had. Just your thoughts on the season you just completed. I know it's not the way you wanted to end it, but your thoughts on this great season. Go ahead, Paige. Um, Speak into the mic. Tough loss. You don't want your season to end like that, but um, we did have a very good season, and I'm proud of the way we continued to win and continued to not quit. Um, it was 
it was a long season, but it was very fun, and uh, just hopefully we'll be here next year. JC, you want to comment on that too? What about you, Coach? You want to talk about this season? Well, you know, this, the season is such a long grind as far as not necessarily for – from, from November to March, but starting in June uh, with work, workouts in the summer and, and camps. And uh, these girls have asked everything. They've done everything that I've asked them to do. Uh, they've made every weight workout. They've made every practice. And, and you don't get that by not having a work ethic. So I want this season and the season that we had last year if everybody can understand that hard work leads to good things. And, and we've always said just because you work hard doesn't mean you're going, doesn't guarantee you a championship or a trip to Birmingham. But we know that if you don't work hard, you're not going to get here. And these girls have bought into that. And that's something we try to, to establish in all our sports programs at Strawn is, is, is work ethic. And these, these girls, this basketball team, symbolizes what work ethic should be. Coach, you guys didn't shoot real well in the first half, and they didn't either. And then you made a run, kind of a run in the second half, and early in the third, you got it within nine. Yes. Uh, just talk about that, and then what did they do? Do you think the pressures wore you down after that? Or? Well, yes. I mean, the, the pressure is, is when you're constantly having to turn around and, and see somebody in your face, it, it wears on you mentally more than it does physically. I thought there was a couple of times where we had a chance – to, to cut the lead even more, maybe down to seven or six, but something happened. Either we turned it over or missed a shot, and then they went down and laid it up and, and built the lead back up. So uh, I think there was a couple times that that happened. Um, right there at the end of the third quarter, that shot they made, that was my fault. I, had, I shouldn't have called that defense and allowed them to get into that, uh, that easy bucket, and that, that kind of just broke our back a little bit. Other questions? Well, Coach, congratulations on a great season. Thank you. I'm with two ways to leave here. <laughs> but you're here. That's right. Listen, um, Dennis Victory.